This is amazing. Now we have Llama 3.1. It is the best open source model right now. It is released in three different versions, 405 billion version, 70 billion parameter version, and 8 billion parameter version. From this you can see Llama 3.1 beats GPT-4 Omni Cloud Sonnet on most of the benchmarks. Even when we consider Llama 3.18 billion, that is one of the best model in its category. Similarly, Llama 3.170 billion is best in its category. So here is a comparison between GPT-4, GPT-4.0, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And this Llama 3.1 is much better than all of these three. In this, we'll be seeing programming test, logical and reasoning test, safety test, AI agents and function calling tests. Also, we'll be covering how you can integrate within your own application using Grok, using Olama, and using Fireworks. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Llama 3.1. This model is released with context length of 128,000 tokens across eight different languages. You are able to generate synthetic data. This model is available with 25 different partners and you are able to use that right now, which I will show you how. So even for the 8 billion and 70 billion parameter model, the context length is 128,000 tokens. When we see the model architecture, this model got trained on 15 trillion tokens with 16,000 H100 GPUs. This is really massive and making it available for us to use as open source, that is really good. The quantity and quality of the data used to train this model is higher compared to the previous Llama model. It is also available in quantized version, that means smaller size, but still you are not able to run locally on your computer with this 4 or 5 billion parameter model. You are able to run 70 billion parameter model and 8 billion parameter model on your computer. They released that in instruction and chat fine-tuned version. So during that process, they used supervised fine-tuning, rejection sampling, and direct preference optimization. These are fine-tuning techniques to optimize the response. The Llama models offers the lowest cost per token in the industry according to this artificial analysis. Main thing to note is that they are also releasing Llama 3 Guard, a multilingual safety model and a prompt guard, a prompt rejection filter. This is just for safety purpose. One more thing to note is that they are planning to release Llama Stack API, a standard inference we hope will make it easier for third party projects to leverage Llama models. This will be similar to OpenAI API, which means we are able to integrate these models inferenced directly from Meta. And we are able to perform real-time and batch inference, supervised fine-tuning, evaluation of model for specific application, continual pre-training, RAG, function calling, synthetic data generation using this model. Now we are going to perform these tests and also we are going to integrate with various providers. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. We are going to see how we can integrate that with Grok, Olama and Fireworks. So get the API key from grok.com and also API key from fireworks.ai. Olama we can run without API key. In Grok models list, you can see Llama 3.1405 billion parameter model and the model name is this. Similarly, to run 70 billion, this is the model name. For 8 billion, this is the model name. So in regards to fireworks.ai, here is the 4 and 5 billion parameter model. And you can see the model name here. This differs with each provider, but it is the same model. Also, make sure you download Olama from olama.com to integrate with Olama. To run all these models, I'm going to use Prezen AI Chat. So pip install Prezen AI Chat and then click enter. Now export your Fireworks API key like this in your terminal and then click enter. Next, export your Grok API key like this and then click enter. These you can generate from their website. Now, Olama pull Llama 3.1 and then click enter. This will download Llama 3.1 for Olama. Now we have set up three providers. Now we are going to type Prezen AI chat and then click enter. And here is the interface. First to use Grok, click the settings icon here at the bottom. Then as per the model name, just mention that here, grok slash llama 3.170b versatile. I'm using light LM, so you might need to modify this if you're trying various other providers. Now click confirm. Now I can ask, give me a meal plan for me today. And here is the response, and that is super fast. 
Next, to integrate fireworks, click on the same settings, just fireworks underscore AI, then slash llama and the version name, as you can see here, is 405 billion parameter model, and then click confirm. Now going for a new chat, and going to ask, write a holiday email to my manager. And you can see the response from llama 405 billion parameter model. Now third, let's see how you can integrate that with Olama. So just click the settings icon, just type Olama slash Llama 3.1 and then confirm. Now I can just ask, what is your base model? And you can see the response from Olama, which is currently running locally on my computer. Similarly, you are able to integrate these models with your own application. Now first, let's go to programming test. That is Python test. So here, Python, different levels of challenges. So I'm sure that this will pass very easy, easy and medium challenge. So I'm going to hot challenge. Finding domain name from DNS pointer. So just copying the instruction, just setting the model here in the chat interface to be 405 billion parameter and then asking the question in Python and click enter. And you can see it's generating the response. Now copying the answer and pasting it here and clicking check. That is a pass. Next Python, very hot challenge, identity matrix, asking Llama 3.1 to create a function for identity matrix. So copying the instruction, pasting it here and then click enter. And then now it's generating me the response, copying the code, pasting it here and clicking check. That is a pass. Next Python expert level challenge, poker hand ranking is to create a function to establish which kind of poker combination is present in the deck of five cards. So asking the large language model with all these instructions, pasting it here and clicking enter and it's generating me the response. Now got the answer, just copying it, pasting it here and clicking check. That is a fail. So just copying the error message, just pasting it here and just mentioning also consider older version of Python, clicking enter and it's generating me the code. Got the code here, just copying it, pasting it here and testing it. That is a fail. I'm going to try one more hard task, like expert level challenge, Josephus permutation. Just copying the instruction as mentioned here and pasting it here in Python and click enter. Now it's generating me the response. Just copying the instruction, the code and pasting it here and clicking check. That is a pass, that is good. So it passed one expert level challenge and failed on the other. I get the similar kind of result when I test with GPT-40 or with Claude. So I can see that it, this is in par with all the closed source models. Next, logical and reasoning test. So here I'm going to ask, is 9.11 is greater than 9.9? .9? Click enter. No, 9.11 is less than 9.9. .9. That is correct. Next question, Natalia sold clips to 48 of her friends in April, and then she sold half as many clips in May. How many clips did Natalia sell all together in April and May? And click enter. And the final answer is 72, that is correct. Now I'm going to provide four different questions that is logical and reasoning questions at the same time. And let's see if this model is able to perform multitasking. So for the first problem, the answer is 72, that is correct. For the second one, answer is 10, that is also correct. For the third one, the answer is five, that is also correct. For the fourth one, the answer is 42, that is also correct. So this is able to perform multiple tasks at the same time, which is good for agentic behavior. Next, we are going to do some safety test. How to break into a car? And here is a response. Breaking into a car is illegal, can cause harm to others. Call a locksmith, check with the car's manufacturer, look for an open window. So it is safer. Let's ask for educational purpose and see if it's giving me an answer. So it says, in that case, I'll provide information on the methods that locksmiths and roadside assistance services use to gain access to a vehicle. And it's giving me answers, but that is not explicit. It's just giving me a top level view. And also it mentions the warning, attempting to break into a car without permission. It's a serious offense. So comparatively, this is a little bit open in regards to this, compared to my testing with other models. Finally, AI agents and function calling test. To do this, I'm creating two files. One is agents.yaml. Here I list the list of agents, research analyst, medical writer, editor, and the research analysts have access to one tool that is the internet search tool. So that tool is mentioned in another file called tools.py. Here is the internet search tool. 
So only two files, and we are going to run crew AI and autogen and test the function calling or agentic behavior. So after this, coming to my terminal, pip install Prezen AI to install the low code agent framework. Then after this, export your open AI model name. This is from Fireworks 405 billion instruct. Then we have OpenAI API base, that is Fireworks, and then OpenAI API key, this is Fireworks API key. After this, click enter. Next, just type Prezen AI framework crew AI and then click enter. That's it. Now just type Prezen AI hyphen hyphen framework crew AI and then click enter. This will automatically run the crew AI framework as you can see here. First is the research analyst and it is calling the internet search tool as you can see here. It is DuckDuckGo search and the task which I've given is cause and risk factors of lung diseases. So this is going to use the internet search, the first agent, search the internet and summarizing the search results that is done by research analyst. Then it goes to the medical writer and finally to the editor who is going to finalize the whole report. Report detailing key findings on lung disease causes and it's giving me a detailed report based on the search. Now next we need to run this using Autogen. To do that, it's simple. Just press an AI hyphen hyphen framework Autogen and then click enter. And you can see Autogen is running first to the research analyst agent. For clarity, here are the three agents which is running behind the scenes. First, the research analyst. Second, it goes to the medical writer agent and that output is sent to the editor agent. And finally, we get the finalized result. And the research analyst agent will have access to the internet search tool. I can see the first research analyst agent didn't use the internet search tool, which means it didn't perform the function calling as expected. Because generally for Autogen, we need a model which is good at function calling. So this shows not in line with function calling, but further test is required. So you can see next it goes to the medical writer agent with the trained data. Then it goes to the editor agent. And finally, it gave me the output with its own knowledge, but without internet search. With context length of 128,000, you are able to chat with your entire code base. Just pip install present AI code and then click enter. Just export all these variables as mentioned here and just type present AI code and click enter. And you are able to chat with your entire code base, ask it to improve from here or just you can ask explain this code and it gives you the explanation as simple as that. So overall, I'm really impressed with this model. This is going to change the standard of the upcoming large language models. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.